Alright, we're good. Welcome to the AE1 Cosmos Edition. As soon as you walk in, this is our Timberline colorway. You'll notice our green exterior with the green on the interior and also pops of yellow throughout. And then this is our switchback lounge. So as you as you use it as like a, a social lounge during the day, you're sitting, having a good time, talking to everybody. They're at the convertible dinette area and you have them here. This actually falls down to a queen size bed. And then this is our convertible dinette. So this actually lowers all the way down. Then you pull the mattress out and you have sleeping for four on here. Then we move through. We have all of our storage, or excuse me, all of our storage here on the console, all the way through. This is this design is for three different reasons. One, to physically lighten the vehicle. Another one is to actually just lighten the space visually. As you can see, it just opens it up. The third one is that you get a chance to just kind of attach anything you want to these as you kind of go through. And we'll, we'll from a design standpoint and accessory standpoint, start building in more uh, opportunities to take advantage of this. As you see with our, our cargo craft stores system here, we'll also have more of these preparations that you can kind of, uh, find ways to, to make them your own as you kind of go through. Um, at delivery will actually be metal. Really? Yeah, we have uh, bags that actually go and fit perfectly in here. You pack them up inside and everything you need, snacks, kids' toys, like um, <laughs> luggage, and you just slide it right in. Nice with the uh, automatic stuff. lights too, exactly. very helpful. Exactly. What, uh, what do you have over here, by the way? What oh, is this? Oh, sorry, thank you. Um, step right over that. So this is a char our QI charging pad. Uh, okay. But more of like a catch-all. Like I, when I walk in my house, I have a little, little like glass. Phone, wallet, yeah, keys. Exactly. And you just put it right there and it just works perfectly. Yeah. Throw it in there and the phone starts charging cool. and it works perfectly. This is one of the accessories that comes with the vehicle is we have two subtle smooth tubes that actually integrate with our, our Atlas control system. So this is our, our, you can call it you want to say app but there's um it's our control system excuse me it controls everything within the vehicle it controls the race lower it controls our the hvac controls the lighting it controls the fans um you can check out the security cameras through it as well um, we do have security cameras here so we have uh, three one on the left one on the right and one on the back you have an opportunity to do you control lights uh all the way through you can do it from the the halo here on the climate our, our hvac our air right H, uh, crime control system. The vent is actually all the way behind the seat back. Wow. And it's fully integrated into the vehicle. Our design approach is built in, not bolt on. So once you go around the vehicle, you'll see there's nothing external on it. Everything was uh, designed um, purposefully into the vehicle so that you don't have, so that we get that 300% um, increased aerodynamics that we promised yeah. to the to the owners. We have auto leveling uh, here, so you Very can cool. push that and all of a sudden it just, and you're good. And then you have a chance to do the, the stabilizer right after that. Tank levels, so know exactly how much you got, how much you have left, as well as how much you're filling up on the gray and the black tanks. And then how much energy you have, which is really important. So on the high voltage side, you can set battery limits if you want. We use an LFP, we use LFP batteries. So charge it to 100% is not, keeping it at 100% is not a bad thing. 1.8 kilowatts of solar integrated into the roof. They're heat tempered solar panels. They're really, really strong. So they're meant to withstand rocks, hail, sleet, snow, the weight of some snow on the top, as well as just things falling from the sky. And then here's your, your galley, yeah, more or less, yeah, right? Yeah, three point galley kitchen. So you got prep, cook, clean. So think of it that way, right? And if you stand here, you can see there's plenty of room yeah. for me to cook. You to prep. Induction cooktop, obviously. 100%. And then you have your uh, your sink here, big enough for a full-size plate, as well as um, does not move and does not fold. The reason is that it doesn't need to. And it's also a visual reminder as the ceiling comes down, as it lowers, just uh -huh. about a couple inches above, it's good to know, like, will, yeah. will I need to move something? Will I not need to <laughs> right. move something? Right. So it's purposely built there from a design standpoint. That's just a nice visual reminder. And it's also one less thing that the owner has to do to prep the vehicle. Yeah. How, so, how many uh, gallons of fresh water can you hold? 50 gallons. 50 gallons and then uh, what black water tank? Yeah, uh, 50, ga 50 gallons for fresh, 35 for gray, and then 30 for black. Okay. And then induction cooktop, we have a microwave convection oven. We have our uh, refrigerator and freezer combo. And then a dishwasher. Oh, wow. That can take up to six Now six it's luxury. Now yeah. it's luxury. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> And funny enough, like this is actually more efficient to wash this way than trying to wash dishes by hand. And we have you have 77 kilowatt hours of battery. Um, at the same time, you want to make sure you're using you're, right. You're using it efficiently, and you'll end up as as we tell people if they're going to do some boondocking to try to be as remote as possible. 
you're probably end up running out of water before you run out of power. And we estimate about up to a week with a family of four, being able to wow. run, the, we run the HVACs and, and lighting and everything there wow. uh, in that system. And then I'll step to the side so you can step sure. in the bathroom and take a look. So this is this is the bathroom modular. It's called a wet dry bathroom. Excuse me. So we have you know, the ability to have this modular aerator. It can go up here. Um, it's lower there, one for travel if you if you want to have it travel, but you can also keep it up and if you want to keep it that way. The door and you close it all the way, this whole Total space privacy. is able to get wet. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. GFCI outlet, so don't worry about those. You can clean the dog, you can clean the kids. They never want to get clean, so it's always a fight. This is an integrated drain all the way through, wow. so the water will... So similar to the, the AC yes, setup, exactly, HVAC, I should exactly. say. Similar with the water, which is very seamless. Exactly. We want to make sure it's clean as possible. This countertop here is 100% recycled plastic. Wow. Uh, this, since this is one of our, our one of our last prototypes, this mirror is actually extended out um, in the production model, mm. and it actually modulates. So as you're going, and if you want it there, awesome. And if not, you slide it back. That's brilliant. And you can access all your toiletries yeah. for the shower, and then none of your your toiletries that you don't want to get wet or you have the steam or anything like that will be, will be yeah. affected on this side as well. Traditional toilet, uh, additional storage under here, and yeah. Oh, shower curtain, if I didn't say that. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, actually, one of the design choices that you see, just like little pops of color, yellow in our Timberline colorway and, and blue in our Dusk Horizon colorway, is intended to be an interactable space within the vehicle. So okay. all of these are spaces Oh, I love open. that, yeah. All these spaces you can open. Now we're not questioning. 100%, all of these are things that you can interact uh, that's with. That's really smart. Like every every piece here on this, on yellow on this one is every space that you can do. Storage under here. Wow. Storage under there, storage under there. It's really, this really modulates brilliant. all the way through. So, if you have, it's like a visual reminder, but it's also a nice aesthetic, and this kind of gives a, a feeling of lived in and, and of comfort around it. So yeah, head over to LightshipRV.com. Um, we are accepting pre-orders, and we're actually accepting deposits for this our A1 Cosmos edition. Uh, we are starting production this summer, and we're delivering them. Um, Late, or excuse me, late Q2, early Q3. So deliveries will happen around July, August. Wow. We're really excited about it. Uh, getting production around June and July, and we're ready to deliver it. Yeah. One thing I did not mention as we were kind of going through was these four windows, these two here on this side, and these two back ones all open. And the ones that open all have mesh plug strings as well so to make sure that uh, that you're able to have nature uh, come to you, but not all of nature. And um, so I'll give you one more thing about the windows. Okay. These, these four here, these are shatterproof and scrap resistant polycarbonate. Gotcha. So as you can imagine, as this gets low and it's closer to the ground, these are these become big targets, but they don't break. They will not. They will not scratch. They will make sure that they actually you arrive and not have an issue there. All the glass, all the way down, is automotive gray uh, safety glass. I think windshield, windshield thickness. So scratch resistant, dip resistant, and will not crack. Yeah. As we go to market, we're really excited about uh, bringing in partners to share it with and yeah. have an opportunity to get out there. Awesome. All right, Lawrence. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Steve. Thank you so much. Check that out next.